I would like to start with the point that Astarta is a vertical integrated uh, company and key point about us that we do processing uh, raw materials we produce. Such way we produce uh, soybeans and produce soy meal and uh, oil. We produce uh, sugar from the sugar beets we grow and also we process milk. I'm not sure if you see my presentation because I cannot no, see. No, it. it is not. It is not seeable. Uh, but nevertheless, I suggest that you go ahead, and then it will just catch up with you. Okay. So we in Astarta we operate uh, seven silos with a total capacity of uh, close to five hundred and sixty thousand tons. We run uh, uh, five crush uh, five uh, sugar plants. And produce, uh, if you take average per last years, anywhere between 250 and 500,000 tons of sugar. And we are one of the biggest producers of sugar in the country. Also, our uh, bio complex is a successful project, especially this year, with uh, 60 million cubic meters of uh, gas. We have our crush plant capacity. Uh, 250,000 tons per year. And uh, saying all that, we see a lot of potential in processing uh, agricultural commodities, and that's uh, potential development of our company. Before the war, we introduced a project called uh, SPC. Uh, and uh, with a total investment of uh, 50 million tons, uh, 50 million dollars, I'm sorry. And uh, this project hasn't been started due to the war restriction. And uh, secondly, because we haven't been able to get uh, equipment delivered and foreign engineers. We have all the permits in place and we have uh, everything arranged, but uh, basically at this point, we are considering to proceed with this project. SPC is a new product, which is uh, not produced in Ukraine, and it's going to be delivered to uh, foreign markets. And uh, the key point about it is that it uh, replaces uh, part of the naturally grown uh, fishes. So basically, that's uh, part of the ECG process. And part of the products we are using is uh, basically can be used on our bioenergetical plant. So that's that's kind of a key. So with pointing my fingers, I. I think I was able to explain everything. I don't know if you see the presentation now. No, yeah, now yes, we see the presentation. Um, I'll uh, but just, obviously, uh, everybody I'll just knows. Point on our last slide. Yeah. yeah. What Astarta is, is um, because Astarta is really very well known uh, company and uh, obviously also very resilient. But the uh, last slide you wanted to mention. Yeah, I just want uh, to stress that uh, this product we are going to produce that's. Uh, unique product for Ukraine that's uh, uh, very much demanded by European customers and uh, it's much better. And uh, it's also part of their products we produce can be used for our biogas facility. That's really about it. Thank you. And as far as I understand, the company uh, never stopped uh, actually since the war started, right? Because when we were talking that is about correct. That, Sergey, uh, Sergey, actually the owner of started. he was really presenting the picture that the company was fully operational without no any inter uh, interventions and interruptions because of the war. And one of the main challenges, at least uh, at certain period of time, was actually pollution of lands, right? Uh, or will this issue have been cleared already? Well, basically not so much as other companies, I would say, but uh, yes, Anna, you are correct. We haven't been stopped for a single day. We have been running all the time. And uh, luckily for us, we haven't been too much affected by the war. Mm. So uh, all of our plants are staying safe and operational. And plus, from what I understand, you're also cash positive. So it means that it's possible to be a revenue generating machine even during the war time. So no problems with this. So in, it means that in case the war is over, basically you can triple, you can really substantially increase your volumes and also revenues, right? Yeah, Anna, our uh, basically products are diverse and our activities diverse. So we've been able to meet all of the challenges of the world. 
And I just want to allow myself to correct you, uh, not if, but when the war will be completed. Of course, we will uh, double, triple, and we will uh, run full blast. Excellent. And do you have some uh, estimations on when the war is going to finish? Well, uh, <laughs> whatever I would say, it will be a speculation, but I hope it's going to be the soonest. I see. Great. Let me wish everyone this, actually, the soonest victory of Ukraine.